Welcome back to Blockchain Peel, my name is Alex and today we'll discuss what happened on the internet computer the previous week. Many ICP projects took the spotlight during ICP Lab 5.0 at the Definity headquarters in Zurich. It is exciting to see a blooming ecosystem, especially during this long, long bear market. And without sounding too much like financial advice, the big gainers that we will see during the next bull run are building their projects now without all the noise. Those should be the projects that we should be focusing on. Do with this information what you want. We are finally seeing some more utility for CKBTC, the twin brother of Bitcoin created using internet computer chain key cryptography. Dominic tweeted that he was able to buy coffee in Lugano, Switzerland and pay with CKBTC. The fees paid and transaction time are only a small fraction compared to those of BTC itself, making CKBTC a viable payment solution with zero downside. If we are going to see another run for Bitcoin ordinals and an ever-growing need for Bitcoin smart contracts, I believe that we'll begin to see more and more use cases for CKBTC. Hollywood is coming to fund it. Yeah, you heard that right. Last week, the team tweeted that the award-winning director Randall Miller is crowdfunding to turn Bottle Shock into an animated musical. The team is looking to raise $1.5 million by offering fractionalized shares of the movie in the form of NFTs, something that has never been done before, at least not at this scale. There are five reward tiers that investors can choose from, starting from $30 and all the way up to $20 thousand dollars make sure to check the funded campaign for all the information we'll leave a link in the description below one of the most popular nft marketplaces on the internet computer ccc which stands for co-created collectibles has announced that they're closing down their marketplace in a tweet from last week the nft projects have until december 1st to get in touch with the ccc protocol team and redeem their collections canisters to migrate to a different marketplace. This is honestly pretty bad news because the CCC marketplace is one of the oldest NFT marketplace on the internet computer, but all is not bad because there are alternative NFT marketplaces like Tonic Market and Yumi Marketplace. The NFTs on internet computer are not dead. Nonetheless, it's sad to see them go. We mentioned time and time again that the SNS is one of the most innovative tools for decentralization and fundraising. After eight successful launches, the SNS is beginning to get recognition from outside the ICP ecosystem, which is super great news. Tech.eu has released an article about the SNS platform in which they covered the success it's had in the past months. According to them, the SNS has raised over $15 million and the best part is there is no VC involved. The difference between any regular DAO and the DAOs resulting from the SNS decentralization swaps is that the latter are truly decentralized DAOs governed by the people who hold the tokens and not by a centralized entity. The article dives deeper into this subject, so I really recommend you check it out. The link is in the description below. We also have a new tool, an SNS tokenomics analyzer. A Definity developer made a forum post about this exciting tool, which comes with the following features to make it easier for the normal investor to digest the tokenomics usually found in the project's white papers. Some of the features that this SNS tokenomic analyzer has, token allocations at Genesis, which which provides an overview of the initial token distribution. Then we have voting power analysis, which focuses on voting power distribution at the genesis stage. Also, we have swap analysis, which includes aspects like minimum and maximum funding targets. So basically soft cap and hard cap, nearest fund participation percentages, and quite a few upcoming features, which you can see if you check the Definity forums, which we'll link to in the description below. The community's response was very positive with many users asking to have this tool implemented directly into the IC dashboard. This is a great tool, so congrats. The BoomDAO SNS swap has been completed. The team managed to reach their soft cap of 400,000 ICP and has officially become ICP's eighth decentralized DAO. Basically, BoomDAO has built the necessary tools that game developers building on the internet computer protocol can leverage and use to get their games on chain, to mint NFTs, to burn NFTs, to have their own NFT marketplace in-game and many, many more, which we covered in the podcast we did with Tommy, one of the co-founders of BoomDAO. So make sure you check that out after you finish this video. Great tools. And now that the SNS is complete, we're looking forward to see the first games implement those tools and the ICP gaming ecosystem to flourish in the coming 
upcoming bull run. Congratulations to BoomDAO and all the investors who managed to get in in this SNS swap. And finally, the popular social media platform Sears, now rebranded to ICX, has reached their SNS swap soft cap of 100,000 ICP and it looks like it may reach its 150,000 ICP with eight days left for the SNS swap. Initially, there was some backlash when ICX decided to lower the soft cap for their SNS swap, but it seems that it didn't really matter as it reached its soft cap in less than one day, if I'm not mistaken. My question for you, the people watching is, have you invested in any of the recent SNS swap? If you did, let us know in the comment section below. And with that, we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. My name is Alex and I'll see you in a future video.